Brought in the new year with a glass of wine, maybe champagne or liquor, thousands tried their best to avoid it. One of the top New Year's resolutions we rarely talk about is becoming sober. Local sobriety expert Jeff Duell is here to tell us about some tips to do so. Is it okay that I mention that you are, you are sober yourself, right? In recovery. For how long now? Oh, about 15 years. 15 years. Congratulations yes, to you. Thanks, Tanya. So what do we do? What advice do you offer to those people who are really struggling with this issue this time of year especially? Yeah. First thing they need to, to understand is they're not alone. Yeah. You know, everybody knows someone who suffers from alcoholism or, or has been affected by it. So they need to understand they're not, a home, not alone and reach out for help. Okay. And so for those who are there to help, the loved mm -hmm. ones, the friends, the family, what do we do? Provide support provide love and support and encouragement that they should keep on the road that they're on. Yeah, because it's hard this time of year. There's so much alcohol being poured everywhere you go. People there are is. giving each other bottles of wine. The temptation is really high because there's high stress too. Yeah, there is. And I mean, what we would encourage people to do who are in recovery or want to remain sober, if they're going to a party where there's going to be alcohol, have a plan. Have a plan how you're going to how you're going to handle it. If someone offers you an alcoholic beverage, uh, have an exit plan. When my wife and I go to a party, if we know there's going to be alcohol, we may drive separately. She can drink an alcohol in a healthy manner. I can't, so we may drive separately so I can leave if it becomes uncomfortable. Yeah. So is that a situation? I mean, does that really happen? And I guess it does. That you're there and you're like, I need to get out of here. Yeah. This sure. is not a positive environment for me. It definitely could. It definitely could. Wow. So rather than than putting up with that, I would I would have to just exclude myself from the situation. Let's talk about in those, a positive way. Those who think they might have a problem, what questions should they be asking themselves to try to figure out? Do I have a problem? Or do I not? Yeah. I mean, if it's affecting their life in a negative manner, if it's affecting their work, school, if they have blackouts, I mean, they would know. If they're sure. thinking... If their loved ones, it's making them upset. Yeah. If they, if, if they feel like they do have a problem, then they likely do. Okay. Now, there are tests that you can go online and, and find that would really kind of define that for you, but if they're really concerned about it, than they probably do. A lot of college kids especially doing a lot of binge drinking right mm -hmm. now. Is that something that we should be concerned with? Sure, because I mean that can lead into full-fledged alcoholism. Okay. It could lead into legal problems, binge drinking and then driving. We get a lot of people with DUIs coming to awareness.